Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and for this video, let's draw another Undertale character, and this time it's gonna be Papyrus. So let's get started with a quick sketch, and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw Papyrus, and to begin, we're gonna draw his eyes first. So he's gonna have one kind of a mean brow. So we just draw a line like that. And then right next to it, we're gonna draw the other one, and this one's gonna be straight across. And then from there, now we can join his eyes. So just one long curve like this. And then on the other one, kind of the same thing. Okay, and I'll shade it in real quick. All right, and then from there, we're gonna draw his nose. So just right underneath, right in the middle. Let's make a little arc like that. Close it off, and I'll shade it in real quick. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna draw his, his skull. So, right from on the side, just kind of go up, come down, and then we're gonna draw his cheeks. Just have him come out like that. And then now we can finish off the skull. This will be where his teeth's gonna be, his upper row, right? So, for that, we'll just draw two lines. Close it off like that, and now we can draw in his teeth. So do just put in some lines. Okay. And then now we're gonna draw the bottom one. So his jaw, so we're up here, just come down on both sides. Okay, and now we're gonna give it some thickness. So we're gonna come down, just kind of follow it. A little bit skinnier on the top. Okay, and then some more teeth on the bottom. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two. All right. All right, so now let's move down to his body and we're gonna draw his little, uh, his little cape. So right here, this is gonna be his little opening here, the cape wrapping around, so just draw that. And now we're gonna go out, both sides. Okay, we're gonna come down. And we're gonna draw a little bit of a loose end there. And then we're gonna close this off. Okay, and then now we can draw the, the rest of his body. So this one is just gonna be pretty much like, like an oval. Just kind of come all the way around. Okay, and then on the bottom here, Very simple shape. Okay, and then now we're gonna draw his shoulders. So it's, his shoulders is just gonna, gonna be very much a circle, but it's behind his body, so. Okay. And then same shape here, same as that. And then now we can draw his arm, which is basically just bones. So we'll draw two lines like this. And then now we're gonna curve it out. Okay, so that looks like a bone. Okay, and then for here, there's gonna be two bones. So I'm gonna draw one here, Let's draw a shape like that. And then now we're gonna draw on the outside. So one, two. Okay, and then we can close this off for his glove. So we're gonna come in, it's gonna pinch in, close that off. And then now his fingers. His palm and then his thumb's gonna be right there. And now we're gonna go straight out. Have it come in for his fingers and palm. And then we're gonna just draw one more just so that we, just to show that he's got more than one finger. <laughs> okay, so from there let's uh, let's go on to the other arm. So right here, the shoulder. Same thing on this side. And then just come out. And just kind of round it off. Okay, so before we draw this other arm, let's, let's go down to the lower part of his body. So from the middle here, let's just draw two lines like that. You can curve it a little bit. And then now we're gonna draw this hip. It's just gonna be like a big 
bowl shape. It's kind of slanted, okay, because of the pose. And it's gonna be a little bit of detail here. Okay, so now once we have that, now we can draw his other uh, arm. So right here, we're gonna draw his hands first. So right here, we're gonna draw his, his glove. Let's draw a little shape like that. And then we're gonna curve this in. And we're gonna draw this one finger here. Close this. And then there's gonna be two more fingers here. So one, two. Okay, and now we can connect it. So this one's simple. So we're gonna draw one line here. And from behind, we're gonna draw another one. And now there's another bone. So we're gonna draw one, two. Okay. And now we can move on to his legs. So I'm actually drawing him a little bit shorter um, because I don't, we're running off uh, spa space on the paper if I draw him too tall. So we're gonna give two curves like this. Come straight in, straight down. Kind of like a little bulb shape. Okay, and then on the other side, same thing. Okay, so you want to keep it a little bit curvy, right? So that it looks a little bit more organic, so like a bone. Okay, and then from there we can draw going down. So another bulge there, two straight lines, and now for his boot. So just straight across, come down. This one's gonna go down further. Now we're gonna draw one big bulge here. Okay, and just kind of close it off. And for the sole. And then there's some detail here, so we're gonna go one, two, and then there's a little bit of strap right here, so. Okay, and then on the other side, curve, straight line. Close it off, this is gonna be his boot. So just come straight down, all the way down here, right? And then this one, we're gonna come down. Now we're gonna draw the big bulge. Close it off. The sole. And then same here, we're gonna draw one, two, and another, another stripe, one, two, and then another stripe here. And we actually miss his cape, so we need to go back up right here on his shoulder. We're gonna just, it's gonna come out, and then we're gonna come back in, just continue the curve. Okay, and there's a little bit of detail on his chest. It's gonna be one triangle, two little rectangles here. Yeah, another little triangle there. And that's it for this papyrus from Undertale. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up. Check out my other videos. I will see you next time.